I'm Jim Flink for AOL News Now. Nobody will be answering Earth's cosmic phone for a while. Budget cuts have shut down daily operations of the Allen Telescope Array at the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute, or SETI. We've, we've lost a first-rate research instrument. It's a, it feels uh, almost criminal. It puts us in a sorry state. As a result of state and federal budget cuts, roughly $3 million, the Hat Creek Observatory, operated by UC Berkeley, is now in mothballs, and the deep space research had generated abandoned, perhaps indefinitely. In a statement, Institute CEO Tom Pearson says the project will go into, quote, hibernation. Hibernation means that starting this week, the equipment is unavailable for normal observations and is being maintained in a safe state by a significantly reduced staff. The San Jose Mercury News reports the shutdown is depriving astronomers of their best way to search for life on other planets. The Allen Array is not the only radio telescope facility that can be used in a SETI search, but it is the best. Elsewhere, scientists have to borrow time on other telescopes. And the shutdown means more than just the loss of their most dedicated deep space search tool. In an interview with Fast Company, SETI senior astronomer Seth Shostak says business could stand to benefit from their research in the future. The kind of tech that is developed for SETI, these antenna arrays monitor 100 million channels simultaneously. There's no commercial application for that now, but the lesson of history is that whenever you develop a new technical capability, you often find an interesting market for it. But PC World reports SETI isn't going down without a fight. The Institute is already looking for alternative ways to get the facility operational again. The Air Force Space Command might consider using the ATA for space surveillance, snooping and tracking objects in space. Plus, it is not a permanent hiatus. When the California economy picks up and more donations pour through, the telescope ensemble could get back on its feet. I'm Jim Flink for AOL News Now.